Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Seth, and this is The Expanse. We're up to Season 4, Episode 1, entitled New Terra. Thoughts on the last episode are on the back half of there, but, uh, yeah, last episode, season finale. Crazy shit, a lot of fun, shorter, kind of shorter episode, but I, th I think that was to keep it contained and keep the pacing kind of going. Long story short, I wasn't sure if the Rossi went back through the ring to their solar system or it dipped out into another, you know, one of those other holes that got opened up. But since this episode is called New Terra, so New Earth or New, yeah, yeah, I'm guessing they chose to go somewhere new. So I don't know if they rolled the dice on which, which hole they picked or if there was a reason for the one that they did, but we'll find out. I mean, you all know, but I, I'll find out. Yeah, so, uh, let's see, Bobby's on the crew. Holden expressed his love for Naomi. Amos is still kinda prickly with Naomi, but they're at least, you know, not gonna fight, you know, or be at odds with each other. So there's another Martian on board for Alex to talk to. All right, I'm, I'm just kinda sitting here dwelling on, thinking if there's anything to say, but Last episode was the finale. This is a new season. Just gonna get into it, I think. So, we're looking at season four, episode one, New Terra. Here we go. Right, gay Adams. New Mars intro stuff. I like it. Yeah, yeah. He's on the expanse, but on this side of the ring. That's funny. It looked like it also showed the nuke hitting an Amazonia, but that was... Whoa, it did the expanse on the bottom half. Why is it eclipsing on the bottom? Oh, it finally snapped into HD. Good timing. Damn, god damn, the, the soul ring. Unidentified filter ships. You are entering restricted space. Fear off now or we will fire. Excuse, excuse me? Oh, it's it's like the new hub and the new expansion of a video game. It's like we we gotta get there. You are not authorized to fire inside the ring space. Barbara Piccola, the OPA orders you to comply. We will not. We've been begging for a port since Ganymede fell. Uh drummer shot ordered the ordered them to shoot it fucking holding all them. She'll 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 shoot y'all. <laughs> Yeah, so how do they divvy up 1,300 doors that just opened? Eight months later, okay. He's back home? What the fuck? It was lovely meeting her, except it was through a screen. Gravity drugs on the way? It's not that easy. Most filters have mixed feelings about Earth. That's putting it lightly. What did you see out there? Fucking everything, lady. I, Mom, lady. So what's going on with the crew right now if Holden's just back in Montana or... Don't go to that one. That's a bad one to go to. He only appears when no one else is around. I just realized that. So you me? can ask her. Tell her to let you go through the ring. I have. A hundred times. I'll bring it up again. So they're keeping belters out. They're trying to keep everyone out. It's a fucking do with that many worlds. They split it up evenly or whoever gets there first. Is it a free-for-all? such a rewarding thing everyone's gonna fucking fight for the most the biggest slice of it even if it's 10 million percent more than what they have they'll want 11 million percent more he's been he's been drinking he's been throwing him back don't don't worry about it we'll sounded like jar jar banks says taka wanga wanga <laughs> Misa the Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> oh yeah, there's still proto molecule on the ship, right? Like I keep mentioning it every episode. I, I don't know if it makes the cut or not, but Melba? Please. Oh, sure. I get one message a month now. I was gonna say she's gotta be in jail because uh she killed the dude, started the thing and Good mechanic. I've been thinking about something. 
breaking out. Can you give me a spot? I wanted to. I could have blown the outer door. I was almost gonna. I killed myself. Yep. Is that on purpose? If I was staring down a lifetime sentence, I'd want to have the option. You breathe in, you breathe out. Eat, shit, sleep. You take whatever they give you, and you give nothing in return. Amos, life tip number 13. Madam Secretary, if I may. Hey, Nancy, don't start this shit with me again. Half our population is unemployed. You can't control a goddamn gold rush. Sooner or later, an Earth ship will try to run the blockade. She made a big deal of calling Nancy out quick, so who is Nancy in all of this? Refugee ship from Ganymede. One of the four that slipped through the ring before the blockade went up. They're never heard from again. We heard from them again. By some miracle, the birthers in this world survived. About a hundred or so. They're calling the planet Elos. The planet is practically made of lithium. They're mining it. Belters struck it rich. Good for them. They also found this. Maybe. Looks like the work of so someone, something. You have the insight to the proto-molecule that no one else does. I need to know what is really... And of course she trusts there. him because she has repeatedly. And if it is another Earth? Evacuate the Beltex. Destroy the proto molecule if you can. Get the hell out of there. Are we still chasing the proto molecule and worried about it at this point? I mean, <laughs> the door has been... So many doors have been opened. What, you, what, what you, can you do? An independent right, ship. Clear for our salvage plan. How'd she look? Fine. No, I mean like, what was she wearing? <laughs> what? 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 Is... What? Is <laughs> I need more time. I need. I. His face. He was so giddy. I opened those gates. Yes, she did. I'm responsible if anything comes through. We all opened. Uh, no, actually, he was. Mars! Rust heaven. Bobby! Yes! I am in heaven with Bobby Draper. Punching things in my vicinity. God damn, we're using a lot of resources here. What are we building? We all call this helmet. Fucking problem, dude? Yeah, is she a civilian now? Is she still in the Marine Corps? Or, you know, the Martian military? Roommates, friends, like associates, co workers. Bobby Draper, the roommate. I don't see. She is a fucking warrior. Shit, she's early. She who. We're introducing a lot of new names and faces here. Your Aunt Bobby. David talks about you all the time. He says you're a war hero. He's a sweet kid. I don't know about her, David. How you doing? Getting by? You just have to believe that what you're doing really matters. And then the fear can't oh, control you. Shit. Clay's getting bad. Shit. Take care of yourself, fly boy. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's getting bad. I just I gotta go. Click. Accountability. Click. UN freighter Amberjack, we got you target locked. Give us cargo, we don't fight, and you live. So <laughs> now. Good deal, right? Oh, they're about to respond, I think. Unidentified Parata, this is OPAS Tynan. We have target locked. I was gonna say that that sounds like my guy, yeah. Yeah, that shrapnel would be horrible to fucking fly through. That's a good number of bullets he just sent through them. Oh shit! <laughs> They're gonna just blow the reactor. Yeah, I see some bodies. I see, it looks like they're kicking, though. It pay well. For kill your own. For the inners, they keep them just out of the ring. So they find the gold first. Leave us with dirt. Then you help them. 
with the paint job too. Oh, okay. I don't know why we're doing this, but oh, it's just the drugs. How am I doing? Bone density, muscle mass, heart to lung capacity, all that. We all lost family on Ganymede because of the inner swamp. Yeah. Illus is our home now. If it's like fucking twenty people on a whole planet, it's like. I mean, I get it. There's only 1,300 of them now available. They kind of can, but they can't. They got billions of people, and they they got to figure out what to do. The Medina Station, is that what they're calling the uh, Leviathan now? I call it something different every time. I don't know. The Navu. How we doing, drummer? Oh, yeah, Nagata. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? In the gas station on the new frontier. We're going to make sure it's safe. You hear how many of those refugees died trying to adapt? A lot of them had to go back up to orbit. It's not foolish to want free air and free water and a home for If your children. bones can't handle it and you don't have the, the, space. the biology. In two generations, their children will be in us. They won't even remember what they were. I feel like I'm not saying much. I'm just taking this all in. It's, it's just wild to me to be in season four since when I started my old channel. My channel got banned when I was halfway through season two, and it's just, it's... Yeah, it's like every time he goes through the ring, he gets a flash of something. Thanks for the ride. The case continues. What are we supposed to wait? Ooh, I was not comfortable with a lot of that. Yeah, this is the same dude who was, I'm just... Hey, Jesus, dude. I buy another beer? Oh. So the whole unit? Hey, thanks for the memories. Y'all civilians now. I had a promotion coming up, so. That's the shit end of the stick? You should know. Too, too similar. It's a setup. First they order you to lie. Then they strip you of your pension. Your skin. And you put honor first. And he doesn't bitch and whine when the chips are down. You were inside that ring station. What'd you see? Blue walls, like... Hang on to that uniform. Keep them tip-top. You can be damn sure there are plenty more walls coming. The OPA does not speak for all. And those who stand with Fred Johnson and Anderson Dawes should bear in mind the inevitable fate of Wellwalla and collaborators. <laughs> Wellwalla and collaborators? <laughs> well, they like humiliating us. It's bad enough I have to play cop to protect their haulers. We have a treaty. <laughs> Only because my friend had a boyfriend with an imaginary friend who told us how to power this <laughs> My station. friend had a boyfriend with an imaginary friend. He was a madman, but he, he turns out to be a prophet. I no. I said nah he's not Prophet Holden. I just edited that episode. I was with the Hygeia group when we found some Belgians squatting on a rock. Oh no, this guy he's always a little shithead. Yeah, we got a legal charter from the UN and Mars, so you think the OPA give a shit about that? No, I do not. But the rocks down here look just like the ones back home. <laughs> hey, I name a new bug after you. <laughs> You are getting shot at, or it's debris. Is that cargo, or looks like somebody shot him up? And uh, let's see where how they landed. Was physics kind to them, or was it not? Hmm. Well, like I'm unsure if this is the same world where the Belters were, or if this is. A different, like if people are just checking out different places. Everyone good? You got all your arms, your fingers? Nothing sticking out of you? Cause of the crash is currently unknown. The Beltars are providing what aid they can, but hasten to add the company had no right to land in the first place. Gordon, do not put your dick in it. It's fucked enough already. It's <laughs> <laughs> good advice. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't want him to stir the pot, he should, you shouldn't have sent him, you know? Yeah. Yes, fire lined up. Fire will. The Rossi has a rail gun now? Their space shots are so good. I mean, all their shots, the blocking, set design, it's all good, but uh, the space shots just, ugh. Oh. Uh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. They said the the the, the skyline and the sky fucks with them. They're not used to it. The episode is drawing to a close, and I don't want it to. Trees. Oh yeah, buildings. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't cut right there, to be honest, and start up the next episode with uh, them wandering in. I'm the administrator of the settlement. Jim Holden. Captain Holden. Chief Matry. Welcome to New Terra. You here for her, boss? I am there. All right, all right. Easy there, partner. Damn, big rock. What's the icebreaker here? Uh, nanotech? Are we about to be diced? Are they little metal things? They sound mechanical. Oh, hell no. This little Ferris magnetic shuriken? Now that feels bad, man. That feels bad. Look at these new credits. And it just goes to the next episode before I can give a shit. Alright, that was the first episode of Season 4, New Terra. So, Belters are already doing their own thing, trying to set up a planet, pushing past the blockades, and <laughs> just bursting past everything. They did say at the end of the last season it was going to be a gold, or a, a blood-stained gold rush for this new territory. And it, it's funny, because like, even at 1,300 new systems, they're like, we're not giving these fucking 50 people one of them. You, you, don't, get, you don't get one. And it, it's kind of like, why not? But if you can't give every 50 people a system, because there's only 1,300 of them. So, uh, you, the numbers don't math out. Mars wants a whole bunch. Earth wants some. The belt has, you know, they've wanted a home forever. And I guess being on the uh, Leviathan or the Gargantuan or the... Whatever the... Behemoth. Jesus, I can't. I guess uh, the Behemoth wasn't good enough, but it, now it looked like it was renamed or it was some sort of station. It looked like, unless there was another similar looking, you know, rotating cylinder type deal uh, ship. I did see the one with the, like, the big thing on it spinning around it, but that's, that's different. Yeah, Clarissa and uh, Amos apparently got close on the way back from the ring to Earth before she was jailed and, you know, turned over to authorities. That's interesting. Like, I, I mean, I, I thought, you know, she'd have to be in jail, and they did follow up on it. I wonder if she'll be, like, a guest reoccurring phone call and be like, oh, yeah, crazy girl, you know, Mal. Or if there will be a time when she's granted clemency or forgiveness or, uh, or gets broken out for some reason or Mal Sr. comes back into the picture. But they didn't show us Anna either. They mentioned her a couple times. Once or, I think once for sure. I guess Anna's back home now doing her thing. Back with her family, finally. Saw little Christian. Just momentary. Actually, no. No, we saw more of Christian. And, uh, <laughs> she had some good lines. Per usual. The description for the episode says, The crew of the Rossi investigates a strange proto-molecule proto ruin on an alien planet. Bobby copes with civilian life on Mars. True. Drummer and Ashford battle with piracy in the belt. Yeah, Bobby as a civilian. That's... I'm sad. <laughs> I know that's not what she wanted, but her honor and sticking by what is, to her, is a Marine value, despite what that costs her, even if that means her active duty. Marine ship. Marine Corps ship. Active duty ship. Her, her time as active duty in the Mars Congressional Marine Corps. There it is. Alright, yeah, so when Season 3 ended, I wasn't sure which portal they went through. Was it back home, or was it through a thing, but... No, I guess I guess they had to go back home to, to deliver Clarissa or Melba, because didn't, didn't they say that she rode with them, I thought? So they came, and now, now they're going back through. It's not like they just said, fuck it, and they, they picked one. That would have been silly. Like, no supplies, just jumping through blindly. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I was not sure what this season was going to be about. Like, the first season was the introduction of the Proto-Molecule and Julie and all that shit. 
second season was the stations going crazy, which which kind of bled into the, the the hybrids and more proto molecule funkiness and the ring and then the inner ring and then this you know now all these other portals are out. So it's it's kind of been the arc, but I didn't know like what the season was going to be. And apparently we are at this one planet. Um, investigating ruins, checking out for proto-molecule activity because no one knows what could happen and, you know, Christian sent them here, so. Alright, I'm not gonna speculate or ramble on too long about this, I just wanted to pop back into the show, get into Season 4, see where we're at, so I think I did that. I look forward to more, but that's gonna do it for me for now. Thank you all so much for being here. I look forward to the next one. I hope you enjoy and look forward to uh, the next episode, so expect that soon. Thanks again, and goodbye.